remove this cap, use a 22 millimeter socket and just take these caps off, loosen them up by hand and slide the cap off. Take the lug nuts off, use the 22 millimeter socket. Move the wheel. Take these two bolts out for the caliper. Use a 18 millimeter socket. And take the caliper off. You can use a straight blade screwdriver. Just go in between the rotor and the caliper. Compress this just a little bit and slide the caliper off. You can use a brake caliper hanger and just find somewhere where you can hang this from so that there's not too much tension on the brake hose. Take off the brake pads. Now take these two bolts off for the caliper bracket. Use a 21 millimeter socket. And slide the bracket off. Now remove the rotor. If the rotor is stuck on, you can take a hammer and hit in these locations. Just be careful, you don't want to hit the studs. And then also you could get a threaded bolt that fits in there. Put those in, walk those in a little bit and continue to hammer on those locations and you should be able to slide it right off. Remove the wiring harness that goes to the wheel speed sensor. Just use some needle nose pliers and just squeeze this tab. Slide that out. Over here, you can, you can either pop this off with a screwdriver, pop it open, or just get underneath here with some trim tools and slide that up. And pop this retainer off right here, the same trim tool. And you're going to have to feel around to disconnect the connector. The connector up there, just pop that lock off and slide it off. And then there's another retainer holding it down. Just slide that off as well. Slide that out. Use a 15 millimeter socket and remove these four bolts from the back side of the knuckle. And just take a hammer. You could always use a slide hammer and just hammer it off. And just take this shield off. You can transfer it to the new one. If there's a good amount of rust buildup on here, just use a wire brush, clean this up. There is a rubber seal right there. So just make sure that rubber seal doesn't get damaged and it looks good. And take the shield. Just line it up how it was from the old one. And if you want, you can put some, a thin coat of anti-seize on the hub surface or on the, um, the knuckle area. Just line it up. Get the bolt started from the back side. and torque these bolts to 133 foot-pounds. Now reinstall the wiring harness, slide this retainer through that bracket. Line the harness back the way it came. Push those retainers in. And underneath here, 
push this retainer in, push this one in, and then plug the connector in. And install the rotor. To make it easier to install the bracket, I'm just gonna put a lug nut on the rotor backwards, and that'll keep the rotor from moving around. Now slide the bracket over the rotor, get the bolts. You can use a little thread lock adhesive on the bolts. Now I'm gonna to torque these bolts to 221 foot-pounds. Now I'm gonna install the brake pads. For the inside one, make sure the squealer or brake warning indicator is at the bottom. And slide those in position. And the one on the outside is gonna have both squealers. Now I take the hanger off the brake caliper. And slide the caliper over the brake pads. Make sure the hose is not twisted. Install the brake caliper slide pins or caliper bolts. Now torque these bolts to 80 foot-pounds. I can take that lug nut off now. Put the wheel on. And the lug nuts. Now I'm gonna to torque these lug nuts to 140 foot-pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. Now I'm just going to go around again, double check. I'm going to take the center cap, line it up, and just with the socket, the 22 millimeter socket, just tighten these down, just snug. Not too tight, you don't want to strip them. Some of these are already stripped. you're done make sure you pump the brake pedal nice and slow there's gonna be a little bit of an air gap between the caliper piston and the brake pads so just do this till the brake feels normal 